If you're like me, maybe you found it's hard to nail focus on your camera display because it's too small. Or maybe you're just looking for a budget LED field monitor. Well, this video is for you. So we're going to check this out right after this intro. Let's go. What is up people, it's Jonathan here from Tense Concaction Studio and welcome back to another video of camera lens and accessories review. Today, let me share to you the Portkey Speedy 5 LED Field Monitor and they send me this product for a viewing purpose. But of course, this is an independent test and I haven't been paid in by the company to make this review and all the views expressed in this video are totally my thoughts and opinion. Anyway, thank you Portkeys for sending this product here in my studio. So without wasting any time, let's see first what comes in the box. Let's go. It comes with a tough case, a user manual, HDMI cables, rubber cover, sunshade cover, and the Hachu mount. Now, let's go to the main part. This is the Portkey PD5. It's a touchscreen 5-inch field monitor with a viewing angle of 178 degree horizontal and 178 degree vertical. It has a brightness of 500 nits, a full HD resolution or 1080p, a contrast ratio of 1000 to 1, and for those of you who don't know about it, Basically, it's the brightest and the darkest part of an image. So, the higher the contrast, the better. It also has a 10-bit color, which is really great. As you can see here, outdoor, it's good but not enough. However, the sun shield helps a lot to protect the screen and I think it is still usable as long as you use the sun shield protector. Now, let me share to you what's the tool inside the monitor. It's very simple, but the things that you need are here. Just touch the screen and it will automatically turn on all the settings like the color picking, false color, waveform, guides, crosshair, read lines, check field, zebra, histogram, RGB waveform, audiometers, 3D LUT, zooming, and HDR. As my experience, the color accuracy is pretty great and the touchscreen capability is very responsive. Overall, the build quality is thin, compact, lightweight, beautifully made, and well balanced to my Sony a7 III and a6400 and I was amazed by the image quality which is the company's entry-level monitor. The image coming out of the PD5 is great for the price and it offers all the tools that you need to monitor your signal properly. And at this moment, the price of this device is just 129 US dollars. So very affordable compared to the other field monitor. One thing I want to add on the next version to this product is to at least to add 8,000 nits so I can use it even though the sun is bright. Then who is this for? I think this is great for people who are shooting indoor most of the time or people that are making live stream and you can't go wrong with the port keys PD5. That's why I highly recommend it. So I think that pretty much it. If you have any question, you can put it on the comment section and if you want to interact with me my IG and Facebook page are also down below anyway if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that every time I post a new video you'll get notified once again this is Jonathan Sanchez and see you on the next video let's go <laughs>